Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's the first time that I try this camera to film myself because it's like a new camera and I don't see myself so hopefully um, it's in focus and it's doing great. <laughs> so today I am going to answer your questions that you guys asked me on Instagram about yoga. I got a lot of questions how to kind of thing like how to get more flexible how to blah 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 and these questions are totally legit but the thing is I'm gonna give you my answer and this is not like a universal answer um, as you might guess like I don't think there is an only way of doing yoga or anything so yeah take everything I say with like a grain of salt also, I'm not a doctor, I'm not, I'm currently enrolled in like a train, a yoga teacher training, but I'm not currently a teacher either. So yeah, just like, <laughs> I just don't want you to do stuff because I say things and want to be held responsible for like any injury that you might get. This video is starting really bad, but yeah, a lot of questions are similar. So I might not answer your question maybe, um, like. I might not answer your message directly, but your question will be answered. Um, so the first question I got from my friend. I struggle doing yoga exercises because I'm not flexible enough. Is the best thing to first stretch? It's like train yourself to flexibility or just keep doing yoga? Okay, so the thing is, <laughs> for me when I started yoga, I was already quite flexible. Like I'm not a super super flexible person, but I'm not like a stiff person either. I've always always touched my feet like all my life. Um, so it's hard for me to answer this, but I can definitely tell you that you can do yoga without being flexible because in fact a lot of people come to yoga because they're inflexible and then they get flexible. Every posture is good, like it's just you're not going to be super super open in the posture but it's still your posture and it's still the, the point where you're at right now so I think you should really embrace that and every time you're going to practice you're going to see that you go a little bit further and further and further that's how you get more flexible so I definitely don't think that you need to first like do stretching however I think you could do what I do too is like 10 minutes session of like stretching for a particular uh, muscle group like for example sometimes I do 10 minutes um, stretching for the split and then I do like over split and stuff like that so yes um, that's not really yoga it's more like like stretching into a pose or yeah <laughs> so yeah I hope that answers your question so next question do you have some advice for beginners YouTube channel and apps etc so uh, I'm not really the right person to ask this question to because most of the yoga I do is in studios directly. I take classes with like real actual people and teachers like in the room. But I definitely do know some YouTube channel that, that I would recommend to you. Yoga with Adrienne. I haven't really tried it but I heard it's really good. Otherwise, I sometimes do Alo Yoga's YouTube channel. They're a brand and I know some people don't really like this brand because it's been like a whole debate with them uh, but I really like them and they have I think really good classes on there I've tried a few so this is for YouTube I really liked uh, Banana Blondie Michelle Munch website she's got like awesome tutorials and I think I believe it's like just 10 dollars a month subscription and she's got like tons of yoga classes in full length because sometimes on YouTube it's just like 30 minutes uh, depends how much time you have but if you want to do like a full like an hour uh, yoga class and um, I really liked her website thriving plant-based I used to be a subscriber but then I canceled it because I went to like normal yoga classes a subscription website there is also yoga connect where my teacher Tatiana does classes uh, also Alex uh, does classes, also another teacher that I like to take classes from. I'm not sure if Gemma, my other teacher, <laughs> I basically have three teachers, um, do classes I have to ask her. But yes, uh, Yoga Connect, but it's a French thing. And then the international yoga platform is Kodi App, the one that I know. I really hope this video is not gonna get too long and too boring. So uh, next question is from 
Eloisa Zohodu. Thank you for your question. So she asked how much time takes your practice and how to become a yoga teacher when still studying, working. Which also reminds me that someone asked me, but I couldn't find the question again, but someone asked me if I practice every day. So I'll answer everything. <laughs> Um, how much time takes my practice? When I go to a class, it's an hour 15 and I go to classes about three times a week sometimes two, sometimes four but that's like when it's a really good week yeah, it doesn't happen really often and also classes are really expensive so let's be honest, I can't <laughs> and then I just do almost every day I do at least 10 minutes of yoga yeah, yeah almost every day. I do have some days where I don't do it, like I'm not like, <gasps> I haven't done my yoga practice today. <laughs> um, but the thing is, when I'm at home, I just do like 10 to 15 minutes and sometimes it's like two hours of like flowing at night with music and candles and like in the whole space. I just like to do it when I can fit it. And so yeah, that also answers the fact that if I practice every day or not. However, I do practice the yoga lifestyle every day, like being compassionate by actually being vegan, for example, and just being true to myself, uh, listening to my emotions, meditation. It's actually also part of yoga, so if you mean the practice, like the asana practice, the posture, uh, maybe not every day, but yoga definitely every day. For the question about um, how to become a yoga teacher, you have different options. You can do like an intensive training for like a month, I believe. The most like common ones are in Asia. I have chosen to do mine in Paris, where I live, and mine is not like an intensive one. It's uh, around five months, and basically the training happens one weekend per month and then every week we need to practice three times at least i chose this because first of all it was with my favorite teachers and like the only teachers i've ever experienced to do yoga with but yeah i wanted to take their training and the second reason is i wanted to pursue like my blog and everything and i couldn't just see myself going somewhere for 30 days and uh, not doing like my blog and stuff and then go back and then be like okay so now what so i believe for me it worked way more this way and also i feel like i can integrate a lot more clara himmel asked me how do i improve the only way you're gonna improve is to practice. <laughs> That's the only answer I can give you. And I know like it's kind of like a stupid, not a stupid answer, but it's just like a simple answer. Um, yeah, the only way you can improve in anything in life, not just yoga, but like everything in life is to practice. So <laughs> get practicing. <laughs> What is, in your opinion, the best way how to approach new, more challenging poses such as crow pose or headstands? Uh, how am I gonna answer this? Honestly, the best way for me is to remember what you would do when you were a kid. Fearless and not afraid to fall and yeah, I must, I must learn this advice for myself for headstand. But basically, that's how I would approach more challenging pressures. Uh, changing your mindset and thinking that if you fall it's totally okay you can just laugh it out just be safe uh, make sure there's nothing around you because if you fall on your bed like I did <laughs> and freaking hurt your leg then that's not cool yeah and if you're scared just like put pillows everywhere have someone to spot you to help you have someone to encourage you um, but the best thing is like to believe that you can do it for real for me I started yoga actually like exactly a year ago last year was my first yoga class ever uh, I had no idea how to start I just skimmed through Instagram so some pretty pictures and I was like oh I want to do that pose that looks awesome <laughs> okay don't do this because it's really bad but that's how I did it I would go in the pose without like any warm-up I would just like oh that looks awesome I want to do it so I'll do it my mindset was like Ali you can do it so that's how I would approach more challenging poses. I'm not saying forcing yourself, I'm just saying believe what your body can do and obviously I kind of knew that it could be possible for me 
Like, of course, if I was in a place where I couldn't touch my feet, I would never have thought that it would be a possible posture for me, right? So, yeah, I hope that answers your question. Burnt orange trees, hello, ask me. I have bad wrists. Are there any different poses I should be doing? Good question, because we actually learned this in my training. <laughs> what you can do if you're like in a plank, allow a little bit of angle so that the shoulders are not directly stacked over the wrist. That's what we learned. I actually prefer to turn my my hands outwards a little bit. I find this puts a little bit less pressure on the wrist and then definitely strengthening the wrist because if the wrist, wrist hurt, if your wrists hurt, <laughs> what could be the reason is that your uh, ligament, like not the ligament, oops, <laughs> your hands or like forearms are not strong enough. Doing this kind of exercise, the more you're gonna do like handstands against the wall if you're not sure in the middle of the room, the more you're gonna strengthen your wrist. Make sure you turn them well, make sure you do that kind of exercise before practicing that's what i like to do and also like flip them like that just warm up the wrist yeah that can be really hard um for your practice i have one more question and then i'm gonna wrap it up so i posted a story and she asked me how did you only started yoga a year ago one of my goal is to get to a level like yours but how to do it where to where do i start so um thank you <laughs> Thank you for seeing this and me. I'm going to answer really quickly about where do I start. I'm just gonna say start and stop asking yourself questions, really. I know that yoga classes are really expensive and if you cannot afford them, try to do at least classes on YouTube um, because it's really hard to start on your own without any classes, I think. Or invest in a little bit of money per month and do like a thriving plant-based subscription or um, other website subscriptions but honestly just to answer your question about it's not your question but like your comment about saying that my level is good <laughs> okay I think it's really good to have inspiration in people and for me I still have so many people that are so incredible and like oh my god how does she do that and that and that but I really don't think that I have such a good level so my answer is you're always going to find someone that's better than you really it's good to have inspiration but just trust your process trust the process trust yourself and really appreciate the fact that you're in that position today and tomorrow you're gonna be better and after tomorrow you're gonna be even more flexible or strong or whatever you're looking for so the only way to success for you is to practice so i really hope that i answered your questions and if i haven't please let them in the comments below and i'll do like a second edition of yoga q a um i could do like more of my yoga journey or like specific poses or anything that you want me to talk about um, i hope that video was interesting and that yeah you learned something from it again i'm not science this is just my journey and i have incredible teachers it would mean a lot to me if you could give them a little bit of love and follow them on instagram i'll put their uh insta handle in the description box below and on the screen because they're truly amazing and those are basically my main inspiration right now. Um, I practice with them, that's how I got better. And yeah, they're super awesome. So that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.